<laughs> but you know how some lads were going like to Thailand and they would like go with a lady boy for experience? Mad thing. Shout out to would, them, man, though. Would you ever do that? Hell no, Bev. <laughs> what happens in Thailand stays in Thailand, no? I, I've never been, Bev. I'm sh no. I'm, I'm from Elan, Bev. <laughs> Big man tenure is Castillo first, aka the main event, aka the sniper, bruv. Shout out to your baby, man. Now, big man tenure, we live in a world full of clout chasers, bruv, and I'm sick of it. Why can't a real G like me find some real love, bruv? You could get nosebleeds when you get the wrong naan bread. How this is gonna work is I'm actually gonna slap money in front of these gal, bruv. 1,000 for my eternal love. And I'm gonna try and find out if the gal that I'm here for the money and clout, or if they're there for real love, bruv. Big man ting, this is clout chasers, bruv. My name is Esther. I am a trainee solicitor. In terms of my passion, I'm an actor and presenter. Well, I'm here to go on a date with Castillo. I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> I'm giving love a shot, you know? Doing different things to find love. My perfect man is Karen. Good looking. <laughs> I know, it's a bit fictitious, but um, ambitious. I like a very hardworking man, like someone that's got serious ideas in his head. I will actually acknowledge there is double standard in our society. I'm not going to lie. Even I uphold those double standards, I can't lie. Because when I go on a first date, I actually expect a man to pay. I will offer, I will always offer. But if you let me, I'll be looking at you some type of way. Like, I'll be like, mm, okay, are you a man or are you a mouse? Mm. <laughs> I would say my must have in a relationship is just to match my energy. I want someone like me, like a male version of me, inspire me. Because I'm a very hard working person. Like the stuff I want in a man is the stuff that I have. I'm hard working, I take care of my looks. Like I spend so much money on my makeup and my hair. So I expect you to look good. Go to the gym, because I go to the gym. And I even want you to teach me. I want to be like, babe, have you looked into this? That's the kind of thing, like I want someone to match my energy and take me that level higher. Would I ever be with a break man? Um, I pray I do not have to be. I need you to understand the importance of money in life, you know? If you're broke, you can't do nothing. Are we just gonna sit there and just be eating bread all the time? Like, no, we need to go out. I like Thai food, I wanna go to the shard, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm about building with you. Hi. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thought I'd make an effort. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Hey, I'm liking the hair and that. Jeez. Oh, thank Contour you. Contour and all that, looking good. <laughs> where you just travel from? I just came from Bromley. Right, I don't know where that is, but it sounds far, man. <laughs> Southeast, mm. but then it's also Kent. A lot of people beef about it. They're like, oh no, it's in Kent. And some people are like, no, it's in London. Isn't it Brixton? Yeah, it's close to Brixton. Don't know, don't know. Now, yeah, I love how you know the ghetto end. Cool, Brixton <laughs> is a beautiful area, babe. Let's not do that. You'll get bus up in Brixton. There's big girl, babe. It's <laughs> yeah. mad. So I'm looking for love. Yeah, you know that, right? Okay. Yeah, so as my little profile's elevating and all that stuff, yeah, yeah I'm looking for the right one because there's bare clout chasers out here. So what this is about, okay. yeah, what my show's about is finding the right one and separating them from the clout chasers. Okay. So are you a clout chaser? Do you think I'm a clout chaser? Do I look like a ch clout chaser? Yeah, I'm, I'm not being bad, like a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But are you though? What makes me look like a clout chaser? I know, like, your smile is bare happy, bruv. Like, you see all 32 <laughs> teeth, bruv. Like, I'm not going to lie, it's bare happiness. I'm a real person, mm. and that's actually why I wanted to come on this date, because I've seen some of your stuff, mm. and you just say it as it is. Do you say it as it is? Yeah, I've got verbal diary as well. Okay. But I think you're worse than me, though. I'm, mm. God, I've seen some of the stuff you say, and I'm like, but I rate you for it. Do you know who I see you as? Bro. You're like Cardi B. Imagine, I'm like a girl. Shout out to the LGBT community, but I've done that. I'm like a girl. So you're blunt like that as well? Yeah. So Not as just... vulgar as you. But you still speak the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I will say it as it oh. is. Like, I don't, I don't, don't do sugarcoat things. Yeah. So then what's your body count? <laughs> Okay, that, no, 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 we're not, we're not going to talk about my body count. Okay, I right. don't know, I find that weird when people ask about body counts. Why, what's wrong with asking people about Because I don't count? even, like, keep count. You don't keep count? When, yeah. did you, when did you lose count? <laughs> no, 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 listen, I didn't lose count. I just don't put any significance on it, so mm. I never count it. Because to me, my sexual experience has got nothing to do with 
my new relationship. Do you know what I mean? And it doesn't mean it's high or low. It's just why should I even care about it? And why do people care about? It? I don't. I don't even get why people care about it. Because it's kind of like a CV in it. Like it's like a DBS <laughs> check. Do you know what I mean? You kind of want to know the dangerous willies that your girl's taking because it could be some criminal willies in there. Also, oh, you care about body counts. For the wifey, yeah. For the oh, random really? girl I'm linking, so not what really. what number would you say wifey needs to have? You've got to be reasonable, innit? So what's reasonable to you? I think under 12 is... Nah, 12... Right around 12 is a good number. Because you got to... 12? You got, 12 is that. That's what, a good, how old? A 30-year-old? Yeah, that's all right. 12. But at the same time, if you meet the right person, it's the right is person. Is yours and it 12? Pressure and pain on all digital platforms, bruv. You want your wifey to be under 12, but you're not... No, not under 12. 12. We could hit the 12 to... 15, just to, is that yeah, the Yeah, right way? around there, do you know But I mean? is that the same as yours, though? Pressure and pain on all digital platforms, bruv. <laughs> so this is what I've got to ask you, though. Let's get into the thing. So I've got to ask you this. So, like, I'm an open book, so I want you to be an open book and be real. So yeah, okay. are you a jealous person? Yes and no. If I really, really like you, mm. I'll be very jealous. But I don't think I've ever experienced that with anyone. So you've never done anything mad to like a partner in terms of jealousy? Like you find that he's cheating, you see something in his phone, you never done anything out of jealousy? No, I think it's reasonable. Like if you're dating someone and then you see them chatting to another girl. So what would you do? Like you literally, you're at a rave with your man, you went there together, you see him just chatting to some next thing. What are you doing? No, I, I personally, I would just move on. You would move on? Yeah, like I would just not talk to you. For so like, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't go to her as a woman? You wouldn't come to her as a woman? Nothing. No, like what's the point? Like the guy's already violated you. Mm. So to me, like you don't respect me. So what, what am I fighting for? So you just allow it, innit? The only time I would do something and I have is if you're chatting, you're chatting nonsense to me and then you're talking to other girls and then I found out on your phone or something. So when you say like, so are you two dating or are you not just chatting? And then you find out he's chatting to other girls. Chatting, yeah, and you're just lying to me. If I so, find out that you violated so me... So what are you going to do in that stage? What would well, you, you're going to bait up the thing. Um, I mean, what I've done in the past is basically some guy logged on on my Facebook. He'll probably see this. He logged on my Facebook and then I seen all the girls. Like, I felt really bad for the girls because he had girlfriends and like all these girls. He was trying to break were relationships. Were they of age? Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, they were yeah, of age. Yeah, men, so. Um... When he logged on my Facebook, I did like a Facebook status. I was like really young at that so time. So you did a status on his thing? Yeah, I wrote a Facebook status saying that he's been to church and he wants to, um, obviously... He brought God team. into it. That's a mad thing. <laughs> he's he's turned his that. life around team. and he wants to apologise to all these girls. So I put all the girls in the Facebook. I added myself as well. And I mentioned all of them and I was like, I said like, oh, I'm really sorry. I hope you can forgive me. And then I said, if you want to speak to me, here's my address. <laughs> Big man, it's not looking good, bruv. I'm a bit Nasty. like gun girl. I feel like if you hurt me, I'm a bit like, I need to show you pain as well. You need to show him pain. Yeah. Mad thing. But I wouldn't fight the girl. Like, I wouldn't. I'm a slow killer, do you know what I mean? So like, you just ruin his life and thing. Yeah, 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 I'll um, ruin your life. And then, mad thing. yeah. But I wouldn't, like, come and start shining your face, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? That's good to know. <laughs> so basically, don't lie to me if no, no. this ever goes anywhere. What about you? Are you a jealous person? No, bruv. If you do something mad, I'll just never chat to you again in life. I'm gone, bruv. Really? You never see me again. I'm, I'm, I'm missing. But what if someone violated you? As in, like... I don't expect nothing less. I probably went into the thing knowing that she probably move a bit mad, so it's just one of the things that I just got to anticipate for. Do you get me? Yeah. If she's loyal, that's the surprise. I'll be like, yo, you're loyal. Because I've been doing bad cheating, so bad thing. Now we can work. Now we can build. <laughs> so you, know you just mean? say you're quite a negative person with people. I just don't believe right. nobody. I think everybody's chatting shit. That's why we're here trying to decipher who's after the clout and who's after real love. Yeah. Did you get me? But speaking of which, though. Oh, can I just ask as well? Oh. Why are you doing this? Looking like, why love. are you doing a, a show and looking for love? Like, you can literally can look through your DMs and just no, go on dates or something. That, that gets a bit techy, bruv. You don't want to go through the DMs, bruv, because next thing you say hello to someone, then you end up on a register. It's a mad thing. You don't know where it will go. Because <laughs> you, 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 you don't know who. There's oh, social the media. You don't know. No, not even that. You don't know. It could be a man. It could be, uh, who knows what people are these days, you get also me? Shout, shout to the non-binary people, bruv, because we don't know, you know what I mean? You don't know who you're chatting to. One yeah. time somebody was sending me pictures of their body and that, they look mad thick, they span around and I saw Willy, bruv. <laughs> it's a dangerous world, scary hours. But you know how some lads were going like to Thailand and they would like go with a lady boy for experience? Mad thing. Shout out to would, them, man, though. Would you ever do that? Hell no, bruv. <laughs> what happens in Thailand stays in Thailand, no? I, I've never been, bruv. No. 
I'm, I'm from Elan, bruv. So you get me? Mad thing. <laughs> so you don't travel much? I've travelled recently. I went to New York and Chicago. Big man oh, thing. Shout out to the real drillers, bruv. Shout out to the real drillers out there. They will murk people for nothing over there. Oh, really? You get me? It's real, it's real Are life. you a driller? Yeah. To the Nani, yeah. So who's your male celebrity crush? In the UK? Mm. You. Yeah. Let's <laughs> no, chat Very bull, bruv. You know when people chat Man, it's mad. No, but I do like your personality. I do like the fact that you just lay it as it is. So no, you no, kind no. of know what you're going to get with you. Do you mm. know what I mean? If you're pissed off, you're pissed off. You won't lead someone on. Because that's what annoys me about men. Like, just chatting shit to you for no reason. Do you know mm. what I mean? On me, what's your favourite feature? Um... Chatting shit, man, about you. You see, <laughs> you bullshit. Your facial structure. Mm. You've got a nice face. I feel like I could see you on the runway. Don't know. You see, you're doing the right things. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I like your smile. You've got really nice eyes as well. Oh, I see. I didn't even have to ask you. I feel like you actually are softy. Why even did you say like, that? I don't know. You've literally complimented me so much since I got here. Yeah, you look good. I didn't expect, like, I mean? I didn't expect it. You know Every, what I mean? Everything's nice. I see the baby hairs. Everything's nice. That's that, I like that. I'm a connoisseur. Oh, yeah. When it comes to the ladies' so hair, you I'm a take connoisseur. take care of yourself as well? I take care of myself, but like I notice things like makeup, hair and all that, and your thing is proper. I like Aww. that. Thank you. you get me? I like that. But do you know what I've not like, why well, I didn't like that you've not done that? Right. You've not actually asked me about myself. Mad thing. Like what I do. But you're meant to be convincing I... me you're not a clout chaser. That's what the thing is. No, that means if you are not interested in people, how can you attract real people? Mm, so you need I'm to glad act... you said that. Do you know what I mean? You need to actually dig, dig deep as well. You can't just put I'm that to dig real deep. I'm about to dig real deep. So I saw something about you talking about guys going down on you. Let's dig deep. What's that about? <laughs> What's that about? You s Whoa! <laughs> done the, we've done the CRB checks. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we do the CRBs here. <laughs> we got to make sure you are who you are. I can't lie, like, if you are in your dinner thing with someone mm. and they don't go down on you, it doesn't make sense to me. What do you mean? Like, you need, it's a... It's a yeah, like, it's a, it's a criteria. Like, you definitely have to. So you need to suck the p of the bone in that, is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, especially if you are, like, open to it as well. So you do it as and well? And... I'm um, eating the boudoir. The boudoir, so you done? Maybe, yeah. Big man thing. <laughs> Is there a lot of prep in that? Like, what's what's that like? Do, what's, the, what's, the, what's the plan? You're asking me! I feel like you're like sexually... I just want to know what you're on. I actually went on a show, Sex Clinic. Mm. And I learned oh, you went on a Sex that. Clinic? Yeah, because I'm like, I like to talk about sex. Because mm. I want to have good sex in my life. Like, I want to die. Well, when you say you went on a sex, everything in order? Like, anything in order? <laughs> any, any lingering issues, babe, that we need to know? Anything oh, that no, might no, give me... That's what I'm just saying. I don't have anything. No, I went there because they see my personality and they were like, oh, you like to, you you seem like cheerful and mm. I will say things because why not? Do you know what I mean? We like sex, so why can't we talk about it? Mm. So that's the vibe and they kind of needed someone on the show like that. One time I watched it though and then like, it was a bit mad. Some girl opened up her legs and it looked like a mad kebab in there. It was curtains and a lot of folds, it looked a bit disturbing. Oh, and one time they had a dude there, he had his piece out, I was having a chicken and bacon sandwich, bruv, and he had smegma on his thing, put me off my dinner. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go with an issue anyway, so that's a bit embarrassing as well. Mm. So let me ask you this though, have you ever caught anything in the past? No, no, so, I'm very, I'm very like into protection. And know. this is why I, like I went to sex clinic as well, because just knowing more about sex, like obviously I always know about safe sex, but just the things that you should be doing, do you know what I mean? Like sometimes people don't even know about you can get herpes from sucking dick. Like some people don't even know that. Do you know what I mean? It's just no having more knowledge about sex in general, not just the pleasure, because I, I wanted to know more about the pleasure mm. as well. I love pleasure. But um, the safe side of it as well. So these days you've got to be careful. These days I wear a hazmat suit. I don't be f***ing bitches when I'm literally, I wear, I wear an outfit on and a jacket. Oh, you're saying? Three, yeah, with some know, Wellington I boots, think you everything. you would be, though, because you just seem like you'd f*** anything. Nah, bruv. These days you've got to be careful. So you'd f*** anything, but you're safe? Nah, nah, I don't f*** anything, but even when I trust the thing, I don't trust them. You put your willy in... Didn't you say you f***ed a head before? Yeah, I didn't even know, though. <laughs> I didn't even know she was all prim and proper and then she started moving mad. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with a they're just humans as well. Do you know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. someone that's had a bad life. And... Shout out to the crackheads and that, you get me? <laughs> now you gotta be careful, blud. These days yeah, you, you put your willy inside yeah, and you get alopecia, bruv. Start getting nose And boots. that's another thing why I don't like people in the limelight because they're not careful. I feel like you've got the receipts. What's the receipts then? You, you got some receipts? <laughs> just, I know some of my friends that have been there and caught stuff and... Are they, are they with us right now? They're, 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 they're okay? They're not... No, they 
it can. Obviously, the sexual STDs can be cured. But there's some that can't, though, babe. There's oh, yeah, some, true, that, obviously, there's obviously, some obviously, gifts that, that keep on giving, babe. <laughs> that's it's true, that's mad. true. What's the freakiest thing you've done? I don't want to disclose my freaky. No, that's fine. Though. How about a guy, then? With a guy, do you want your guy to be freaky? Yeah. How freaky, though? I, like, I'm down for whatever. Like, you like tying him up and things? Pegging man and that? Oh, Peggy. Oh, I don't know about that. What's your I thoughts think on it? I think Peggy is a bit too much. Just like you think he's a pussy or if you I do that I think he's a bit gay. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? You want Shout out to the LGBT community, I mean, obviously, man. I, there's nothing wrong with gay yeah, men, yeah, but yeah, I'm not yeah. into... Do you know what I mean? I'm into straight men, so... Don't know, don't know. People are doing so much. Like, you know about the Dubai porter party? No, I don't. Explain it to me. Oh, my God. You what's, don't know about it? Oh. No, what is that? Basically, it's been disclosed that influencers are flying to Dubai and they're being made to, um, for men, rich men to shit in their mouth. And then... For they, real? Yeah, yeah, there's a video that went viral. Name names. Name names. I don't know the... I don't know them. It was just a random influencer. And really? apparently they offered them like 30k. Sort 30k? Of Would you... <laughs> They're getting 30k for that. That's a mad Would thing. Would you do that? Now, I know some gal that would love to do that. Mad thing, change really? their life, yeah. That's a mad thing. So what they do now, they go in there and get some Mr. Whippy on them and that. Like. Yeah, just open your mouth and then they don't. The vid in the video, like, it even makes her eat it. So he was like, she ate the feces and then he was like, oh, now eat my booty. <laughs> like groceries, <laughs> like groceries, for real. Like groceries. I mean, I like that without so, the Without feces. the doodles. So you like a guy to eat your... Eat. Definitely. How does that feel like to you? That's good. Like, what do you mean? Someone is eating you out. Like, so is that on your checklist? Like, you must eat the eat the bar tea and that. Yeah. Hundred percent. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I if you're not open to it yet, we can build it. Mm. But I would like you to be that already. So would you eat his bar tea? What? Would you eat his bar tea? Ugh. Sure, that's a no for you. I could. Mm. See, I rate that. To be fair, I've never had a man ask me. If he did, would you be like, that's a bit zesty, cuz, where are you going with this? No, not really, cuz men, everyone has their G-spot there. So, I can understand you wanting it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want it, so... What are you looking for in terms of a relationship? I'm looking for someone that's good looking. Um, someone that takes care of their looks. It seems like... So is that, very, is that very important to you? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, uncles always come for me and I'm like, I'm not being funny, yeah? You don't even go to the gym. You don't even get a trim. Like, look at me. The reason you want me is because I spend a lot of money on my makeup. Mm. I spend money on my hair. Like, I go to the gym. I, do you know what I mean? I spend a lot of money to look this good. Mm. So wh who do you think you are that you could just come to me and then you're like, oh, yeah, I want you. It's like, no, go and take care of yourself. So how about, so looks good, how about money? I like money too, mm. but I don't expect the things that I can't do from a man. Mm. So I, I like money, so I expect you to like money. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I work hard, like, I do a lot for money. Like, I work full time. I invest. If I'm then with a, a man that doesn't really care about money, I'm going to get frustrated. Do you know what I mean? Of course. Because I want a guy that can show me other ideas to be like, oh, you got this property. How about we go into commercial properties? How about we, do, do you know what I mean? I want someone what to- What if like babes, I'm just selling weed, like it's... Oh no, I can't, I, I work in the legal sector. Mm. I'm a trainee solicitor, oh, so. No. So I can't... You, could, you could help me bust case, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> That's what you're saying right now. Do you know how many times I've heard that? So this is what I want to ask you though. You said looks is important. So you would date a guy that's good looking and broke over a guy that's fat and butters yeah. with bare money. I actually would, because I would be sick. Because if I could do a guy that's not good looking and has got money, I would have a sugar daddy, because why not? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I look good. Like, I know you want me. So what's your biggest is, turn off when it comes to that, though? It's the belly. The belly, the uncle oh, belly. The uncle belly, and just not getting a trim. So disgusting. Like, so that's an you... ultimate red flag put yeah, off for you. Yeah, like, um, yeah, massive belly. So if he's got a bit of money, he's like, yo, babes, man, I could take you to the bar, fly you out. I just got a belly. Nah, I've got, I've had that though, that's the thing. I've had men literally offer me money, like, I will fly you out. And I'm like, but I have to actually suck something. I need to, they expect you to do something. What do, what do they want you to suck though? Would you... <laughs> I mean, no one's flying you out for free, are they? they? <laughs> Let's be real. Like, they, when you get there, you probably have like a gang members, like... <laughs> They're trying, to, they're trying to pass the ball in that. Do you know what I mean? They're probably trying to do some madness. You probably have like three men waiting for you and then... So you're not on that? No. I, I respect that. I actually, that. when I have sex, it's because I want to. I never want to be paid for sex. Have you got brethren that will do that? Of course. We're going to put their name in the credits so the men <laughs> that want to reach out to them, if they want to... Why are you so bothered?
bothered though. Like sometimes that's that works for people. Do you know what I mean? Like uncles going for girls that want money, it works for them. No, I agree. hundred percent. You know what I mean? I think anybody should do whatever they want to do if they're not on age. You get what I mean? Exactly. I feel I feel like I feel like it should be up for sale. I feel like people should do whatever they yeah. want they want. Do you get what I mean? It's their it's their body, their choice. But do you, you judge me? them? Yeah, hundred percent, bruv. See that's so bad though. You shouldn't judge them. It's just I'm not being bad, bruv. If you life, like, if you just went to Dubai know. and man is dropping Mr. Whippy on you, bruv, I'm not wifing you, bruv. This is not gonna happen in life. <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm gonna look you in the face. These times, some man's poo poo's been all over your bottom lip. That's a mad she, life. She buys you a nice whip with that. A nice whip. Yeah, like your girl done that, gone to Dubai. But then that means it was paid for in poo poo money, bruv. I don't know, bruv. I feel like low key when she looks in the mirror, there's gonna be a lot of demons there, bruv, and it's a bit mad. I don't want that. <laughs> Demon, yeah, this <laughs> demons, bruv. And you know when you when you know when you beat, yeah, you, you, the energies transfer, bruv. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Do you know what I've always thought? Do you think people, women, only want you because you're funny? No, I'm not even that funny, bruv. Women you're like hilarious. me. Now women really? like me because I'm buff. That's really what it is. You actually think that? I'm mad buff. Wow, no, no, no. I like your energy. I'm not gonna lie, bruv. Like literally, you see, I was broke for years and I never had no peas, and I was just getting big gal. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? So, really and truly, it was probably a mix of the looks and the personality, bruv, but I was quite quiet. Like, your confidence. Like, you can tell you're the type, like, you have no money in your bank account, but you will tell a rich man to sit down. No, of course, bruv. You get me? Sky's the limit. You get me? Like, I think that's what women want, though. They just want a confident guy. Depends on it, because these days people want peas now, bruv. That's why we're here, doing the love or money thing. You get yeah. me? If I had, like, a grand right now, and I just put it right here, yeah? yeah? And I said, you could have this money right now. Okay. Are you choosing that or you choosing love? What would you choose? If I was in love with someone, I'd definitely go for, like, the love. So that's what you're looking for? Yeah, of course. Like, I've never experienced love and I think it's quite sad. That's a bit mad. You've never experienced love, so you've just been f***ing yeah. this whole time. That's, <laughs> that's what you've been doing. That's, that's what it sounds like. What can I say? I like a good sex. So the nannies has been on, on a lease and finance? No, no, no. I've been in relationships, mm. but I, I don't know. Maybe because I don't understand love. What do you mean? I don't think I understand this whole being with someone forever. Like, I've never been obsessed with someone. And never in your life? So a man's never given you the good willy and you're just obsessed with him? Oh, no. I could never get obsessed because of... Like, so you've just been getting so dead everywhere. Then. No, I get good sex. I get good... good but you've never been stigmatizing nothing in your life. No, because any guy that's giving me good sex mm. are crazy. What do you mean? What, what do you mean by crazy? Oh my God, I don't even want to like go into it. Like I've had some guy, literally, we done a thing mm. and then he's showing up in, my, in front of my mom's house trying to sell his car in front of my mom, my African mom's house. <laughs> what do you mean this guy? I can't boot sale. What do you mean? <laughs> and the funny thing is, he's not even... He, like, when you see him on social media, you think he's them rich man because he's got drip, like, he's got, like, tattoos everywhere. He's a big guy. Mm. And then... Sounds like he's kind of known. Is he kind of known? Is he kind of famous? Sounds like he is. Oh, I wouldn't think... He's not that famous. You're rubbing it's your eye like he is. <laughs> it's not, nah. How many he, followers he got? He's got about... Hundred and something K. That's, he's not really unpopular. That's quite a popular man. Yeah, it's not. I reckon him. if we did our due diligence, we could find him. Why I'm are you saying. trying to get the tea? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Tell me something else that turns you on though. Give me another turn on for you. I guess eating me out. So that's really, I feel like this is a really important thing for you. Yeah, Why yeah, is it yeah. so important? Well, if a guy, literally everything's perfect, yeah? Like, you look, the moments come, yeah? Got you all naked and now he's kissing on the belly, working his way down and he's like, nah, babe, man, not really... I don't really eat pork on that, you get me, man. Man's vegan now, you get me? He's not on that. What are you saying in that moment? I literally just tell him, like, I got a problem. I I try and teach them. I've had it before because a lot of black men, they Mm. think it's this, like, it's cool to say, I don't eat. Like, you think they're lying? Yeah, of course. A lot of them are lying. I think it's because society is kind of like, it's deemed disgusting Mm. to do it. So they feel like they have to say it. I don't do it, or I can only do it with different types of women, but... You what do you mean different types of women? What does that mean? Because they say, like, maybe because you, you're not at that wifey stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got you, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so they're like, oh, I can only do it when I, you're wifey. And it's like... Ah, you think no. that's bullshit? Yeah, I think, no, uh, sorry, if we're going to have sex and you want me to f*** on it, then you're going to have to go down there and eat it like a goosey soup. Like, do you know mm. what I mean? It's an exchange. Do you get what I mean? See, women, they say they want a guy that's honest with them from the jump. Yeah. So... If a guy just told you, yo, babes, man, I just want to beat, bruv. That's all I want to do. Would you prefer that honesty 
over to someone that was just not telling you what it was. Yeah, of course. If he was honest with you, would you beat? I mean, if I was into him, why not? Like, if Trey Songz said to me, I'm trying to beat, I'd be like, oh, OK. Mm. <laughs> I've been testing So me. why Trey Songz, though? Why Trey Songz? Because he's buff. So does that mean, let's say, like, Anthony Joshua and that came through? And yeah. he's like, yo, babes, man wants to smash. What are you saying? We're opening it different directions. You must have it wide open. <laughs> no, because have you seen Anthony Joshua? Like, really? So like, and like, it's not even just his looks. It's the person that he is. Like, mm. the confident, ambitious. Like, everything about him is a turn on. So I've got to ask you, before we wrap up this beautiful day, have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, I have. I have. I feel like, literally... I just got to be myself mm. and I didn't really expect you to be like this. Just oh, that's so a good thing, then. chilled and so comp like the compliments, I didn't expect it. Of course you gotta compliment a beautiful person. Oh, so you I look good, you made that. an effort, so I gotta do that. Yeah. Great time getting to know you. Yeah. You get me, I've had a great time with you, understanding you a bit more. You get me, building to the next bit. Yeah. You get me? I love that. No, I appreciate yeah. that. And you know how you always plug your stuff? Yeah. I need you to say unleash podcast out on all platforms. Big man saying, how much you pay me for that? <laughs> you say it. Look at the camera and plug your tape. Unleash podcast out on all platforms. Big man saying that. No, I rate that so much about you. I love that. So after this date, what are you saying? Level clap, what would you choose? You're, you seem all flirty and stuff, but mm. I'm like, you could just be just the way you are. Mm. And you could not be on it, because I don't want to look like bread as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where I'm like on it and then he's like... But we shall see. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll thank see. you so much. It's been a great day. It's been lovely. Hey, it's been lovely. Thank Get you. back safe. Done now. Thank you. Big man ting. I was feeling the date. You get me? She was looking all nice and that, but you never know, bruv. Sounded a bit clouty, bruv. I'm not going to lie, bruv. Not going to lie. What do you think about black people? No, I'm just what? joking. I'm, I'm taking a bit. I try and mess you up. I'm not going to do that. Man, I can't argue with Gal. That's then it's nice. like, That's I feel like if I'm doing that, then I got, next thing, I've got to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, bruv, arguing with Gal in that. Someone on Instagram, he, he called me a slapper. What's, 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 what's his Instagram? So we can tell him to suck his mum, bruv. Right? <laughs>